This will be the fourth part of our section 3.5 writing equations of lines. This is where we're actually going to write the equations of lines given some information. This is probably the trickiest part of the whole section, but it's something you've definitely done before. If you pay attention, it's really not that bad. We want to write the equation of a line that is parallel to the graph of y equals negative 2x plus 3. And it also has to pass, us, pass through the point 2, 1. So remember the parallel postulate. How many lines are parallel to this line? There's infinitely many, but how many of them are parallel to this line that go through this point? Just one, and that's what you need to find. So parallel lines, remember, have the same slope. So if you want a new line that's parallel to this one, what's the slope of the new line going to be? I'm just gonna put new slope here. The new slope is gonna be the same as the old slope because the lines are parallel. Now the y-intercept is not going to be the same because if it was, it would be the same exact line. If it's going through this ordered pair, that's an x and that's a y. So you have an x, you have a y, you have a slope. The thing you don't have is the y-intercept. So you're going to write down y equals mx plus b and you're going to plug in the three things that you have, y, is one. Slope is negative two over one. X is two. Solve for Y intercept. Negative two times two is negative four. Add four to both sides to get the Y intercept by itself. The Y intercept is five. The slope is negative two. So here's your answer, y equals negative 2x plus 5. Notice how I didn't write my slope as a fraction here because it's an equation. If I'm writing a slope, I want it as a fraction because I might use it to plot. But if I'm writing an equation, I'll just write it as a, a number. This is the same exact problem, except one word is different. You want to write an equation of a line that's perpendicular to this line and goes through this point. How many lines are perpendicular to this line? Infinitely many, but how many go through this point and are perpendicular to this line? Just one. That's your X, that's your Y. Notice the slope of this line is three. That's three over one. Well, the new line that's perpendicular to that one is not going to have the same slope because it's perpendicular. It's going to have an opposite reciprocal slope. So you flip the fraction and you change the sign. This is the slope of the line that you're looking for. That's the X value. That's the Y value. You don't know the B value. So we're going to plug it in. Nine equals negative one third times six plus B. Negative one third of six is negative two. If you're not sure, you can type that in your calculator. Add two to both sides. The Y intercepts 11. That's the equation of your line. It's perpendicular to this one, and it goes through that one. There was only one of them in the whole world, and we found it. Okay, last one. Write the equation of a line that contains this point and this point. If you're gonna write the equation of a line, you need a slope and a y-intercept, but we have neither. But we can definitely find the slope Rise over run. I'll do negative 5 minus 1. Whoopsies, negative 5 minus 1. I'll just put positive 1 there because I made a mistake. The run is going to be 6 minus negative 3. Negative 5 minus 1. 6 minus negative 3. That's like 6 plus 3. 
6 plus 3. This is a negative fraction. And when you reduce it, you get negative 2 thirds. This is your slope. I'm going to circle it because you need it. Now, the thing that you don't have is the y-intercept. So you can find it just like we did on the last two problems. We know our y-intercept, our, our slope rather, is negative two-thirds. The x and the y, we don't necessarily have right here. But you can take them from either one of these spots. It's totally up to you which order pair you use. So if you don't like big numbers, maybe go with this one. If you don't like negative numbers, well, you got a negative in both, but you get the idea. You can make the decision on which order pair you choose. Now I'm gonna choose this ordered pair, negative three, one, because notice how I get a negative three and a three that cancel. So that's gonna make my work just a little bit easier. Um, negative times a negative is a positive. The threes cancel, so you get a positive two plus b. Subtract two from both sides. There's your y-intercept. It's a negative one. So here's your answer. Y equals negative two thirds x plus negative one. This line has this point on it, and this line has this point on it also. 